Hey everybody in YouTube land, check this out. I needed to show you guys this because, well, there's a lot of gold in this box. And I'm still not even up to a five gallon bucket yet. Woo! Get that gold, Brucey! Yeah! All right, so check this out. I know there's a lot of reflection from the water and I was trying to get that water to tone down a little bit so I could get in here and zoom it down and y'all could check this out with me. Look at this. Holy cow. Look at that nice crystalline piece. You know, in a lot of what you're seeing here, people, say like those brownish colored pieces, that's actually tungsten. Uh, the place that I, I picked up all this ore from was from a mine up on the mountain. And look at all those little pieces. Holy cannoli. And uh, at this mine, they, they mined a grip of tungsten. And I do mean a lot. Uh, the military back in the 40s went up there and had pulled, shut down all the mines in Alaska, if you guys remember, all you old timers, and they shut down all the mines in Alaska, and what they did was started mining, opened up a couple of mines that were producing a very significant amount of tungsten. And this tungsten uh, is basically what they pulled. They pulled some silver and really they were mostly after uh, the tungsten. And uh, I mean they pulled a grip and what you're seeing here let me get down in here and show you and you guys are probably going wow what are all these black specks? Well these black specks are actually tungsten ore from Wolframite and uh, you know, there was a lot of shelite at this place. So what we're seeing here is uh, really, I mean, there's a lot. So say you look at these black, blackish type streaks, a lot of that is uh, black sand, but most of it is tungsten. And that's why when we get up here, you start seeing more brown. Well, that's because the tungsten is oxidized. And uh, tungsten, yes, does oxidize. Check it out, look it up. It's really interesting stuff. When you start really getting into it and seeing what it's all about, uh, reading up on it, I mean, there's not too much out there, but, you know, America needs to reopen a lot of their tungsten mines because then we can actually get in there and get tungsten and miners like us can get in there and make some extra cash. So always be aware that elusive metal that magnets do not pick up, which is basically your diamagnetic metals that's tungsten and we're gonna go over that later uh, there was a physicist back in the 30s that developed a magnet that attracts and repels non-ferrous metals and we're gonna go into that people we're gonna make a device and we're gonna attract and repel tungsten yeah get that gold put with poor man's methods of prospecting with Bruce Couch, baby. Ow! Get that gold! 